Yo, Elliot, since I started the program, I've been taking a lot of information from a lot of sources like your program, books, alpha male strategies, RSD, and charisma on command. I've come to a point where, from what I understand at least, while holding a masculine frame, you tend to be more serious, less playful, and have more of a strict, controlled mentality. Basically, the feeling you get when you are actually in control of your life, what is happening, your head, and your emotions. However... By learning from Charisma on Command, it seems to be teaching a lot more about smiling, opening up, and talking a lot, building trust on both sides to further a deeper connection. I'm wondering if this is backtracking from what I've been learning <clears throat> as of becoming a more masculine man and having that frame that attracts instead of chasing. I feel <clears throat> like this is a subject that often gets me to bug because I don't know where exactly to draw the line as to what is masculine and attracting versus being in a more feminine, bubbly energy that will naturally push people away. If you can clear this subject up, I can uh, finally get back to going back and forth with it consistently in my head. That would be awesome. Okay. So I, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, but the masculine frame is about being able to pivot in the moment, decide what's needed in each and every moment, man. And so there's times when you need to be straight face, poker face, and there's time that you need to open up and smile. And as a man, you got to be able to use those tools both. <clears throat> really, it's about self-control. That's the main thing. It's about self-control. I see a lot of guys who they, don't, they have no self-control, meaning it could go both ways. Guys that like, hey, you're in an environment where there's a lot of smiling, there's a lot of laughing, there's a lot of good times going on. Soften up a little bit, man. Why you look so hard? You look like you're trying too hard. You look like you you just need to you need to, you need to chill, right? Just chill for a moment. And then you got these other guys <clears throat> who are smiling and they're laughing loud and they're uh and, and they're just talking too much and it's like, hey man, slow down a little bit. You give you giving it all away. Just kind of like take it in and temper it a little bit. The point is neither of these guys are wrong. It's based on the situation. Based on the situation, which is from moment to moment, <clears throat> you have to be in control. You got to be master of your domain. You can't allow yourself to get off the rocker and start acting in ways that do not serve your ultimate goal. You can't act in ways that derail you from your purpose, right? I don't think one is right and one is wrong. There, Man, you got to, man, I wish, there are so many different versions of Elliot and of course, y'all who have been following me on YouTube know me long enough, but there's a smiley, cheesy, gleaning Elliot. I don't know if you guys know that. And I played that guy a long time. I would say from the time I graduated college while I was being a personal trainer age, right up until probably about age 27, I say 20, from my age 20 to 27, this is how I look all the time. I even remember having a job. I had a job as a strength coach, right? And I knew that people loved my smile, right? I got a nice smile. I got a really nice smile, folks. Never had any braces. My teeth are pretty white, right? And my whole face smiles, right? And I know how to smile in a nice, attractive way. And I remember having this job, and, and the guy that I work for, he was like, man, Elliot, when you come in here, your smile lights up this whole place. And the energy is different. I was leaving the job at the time, and he was explaining to me, we're going to miss you, but particularly we want to miss your smile. And he said, don't ever stop that smile. His name was Pete. I met, him up, uh, met up with him again a couple of years ago. I should ask him what he thinks about me now. <clears throat> He's a cool guy. Um, and so for who I was and where I was in my life and what I was trying to achieve, I was putting that on. You got to understand that too. I was in control because I was putting that on. I wanted to be that guy with the big smile. And so I was doing it, right? You say alpha male strategies. That's a strategy. It's a strategy. I'm going to smile. I'm going to be I'm going to be open. As my life progressed and as I've had success and as I've changed my mind on certain things from time to time, I changed the way I speak. I changed the way I behave. I changed the way I smile. I went through a season where I didn't smile at all. And a lot of people were like, what the fuck is going on with Elliot? But because I decided at that point, I, I mean, I still, I smile a little bit more now, right? Than I did maybe like a year, for about two years, a year ago. I was, I would purposely 
make a straight face when I do a picture. When I'm a picture, I call it straight face. Everybody makes a gay face. What are you smiling for in the picture? You ever notice that? People smile in the picture. What are you smiling for? If you look at pictures of people from the 1800s, you know what they look like? They face. They face look like they face. But everybody look gay today. Every picture. Why am I smiling? What do you got to smile for? What is it that where every time you take a picture, you got to cheese? So I was kind of rebelling against that because I'm like, no. I'm not going to smile just because everybody else's smile. I'm not going to smile just because everybody expects me to smile. I'm going to keep my face. And you know what? People were like, oh, you have a mean face. I'm like, no, I have a straight face. I want you to clear that up for people. I was like, no, this is called a straight face. I, I don't mind, I'm not looking mean. I just got a straight face on. Straight. Not straight. So... I think the whole idea is, and I'm kind of demonstrating it to you with my attitude right now, is that you do what you want to do. <laughs> you do what you want to do because you want to do it, and that's that. If I decide I want to be big and smiley, watch some of my old videos, man. Like from, I want to say like around 2011, 2012, especially if you watch my like my sales letters when I was like trying to sell stuff, right? Some of my football program and stuff. I Somebody asked me this. They said, Elliot, how do you smile when you're talking? I will smile while I'm talking. See, I can talk right now and I'm smiling. Hey, my name's Elliot Hulse, and I would like to join, I would like you to join my King Transformation program. See that? I'm smiling while I'm talking. I want to invite you to learn more about my football strength training program, and you could join us right here by clicking the link down below. I can do that. I can smile if I want to smile. If I don't want to smile, I don't have to smile. And so you asking me, you know, I come to the point where I understand holding the masculine frame needs uh, tend to be more serious, less playful, and have more strict control mentality. I don't, I don't know where you learn that. I don't think I've ever said that. I never said a masculine frame is about being serious and less playful. In fact, the, the, the true alpha male frame is very playful. There is a softness. I know people don't like to hear the word alpha male, man. They get so they get so caught up in like, oh, there's no such thing. We're not wolves. Or they make up some fake shit like sigma males and stuff like that. No, there's a man that's in his alpha frequency. And there are men that are not. That's all it is. Alpha or you're out of alpha. You're in your alpha state or you're not in your alpha state. Right? But they because the world is so gay... They, want, they never want anybody to have hierarchy. And alpha, it sounds like A, right? What is, what's the first letter of the alphabet? Alpha, right? Alphabet, alphabet, alpha, A. And so when somebody says alpha, they're saying that they're the A man. You're, they're A1, right? And nobody likes to hear that. Nobody likes, they don't like that in our world, like I said, where they hate authority. They hate anything that seems like it's above them. And that's a very effeminate way of being. Men work in hierarchies. Women work in circles. And so there's nothing wrong. If I'm, in a, if I'm in the presence of another alpha male, he might be more alpha than me. And I just got to take that for what it is. Check that dude out. He's taller than me. His voice is deeper than me. He walks with a, with a swag a little different than me. He's more calm demeanor than me. Even his smile is calm. An alpha male has a warm smile. Do you know that? I've met, I'm thinking about some business leaders in particular that I've met. You know, I know this guy who was like the CEO of, uh, of Raymond James. This guy, he was tall. He was handsome. He was friendly. Right. But he was in charge. He smiled, shake your hand. But there's no mistaking that this man was top dog. <laughs> you ever meet guys like that? I, my neighbor that I met the other day, he's a builder. Right. And he owns a build building company. He when he walked and he's again tall. I'm short. Right. I'm five, eight. He walked in. He was like six, four. I was like, well, here's here's the alpha male in the room. Right. And just the way he carried himself. He's a wealthy man. He was very intelligent. I was like, wow, this is interesting. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make me feel like less of a man. But that's the problem. A lot of people, they feel like less of a man when they're around a man that exhibits more manly traits. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, this is something to be in awe of, something to aspire to, right? If you so choose, you know, you don't have to, right? He was dressed way better than me, right? I wear the same green shirt every day. He had on like slacks and a tucked in shirt and was buttoned up. I was like, man, that's, 
That's legit. That looks real alpha. He looked real alpha. So when you study, I don't know what the other, you know, I don't know what RSD is teaching these days. I don't know what, uh, what uh, Owen is teaching these days. Alpha male strategies. I like him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't model myself after him, but I like some of the things he says. Um, I don't think you've ever heard me say don't smile and be less playful. But if you're studying charisma and command, I know the kid Charlie that owns that channel. And from what I understand, he reverse engineers people. So if he's reverse engineering somebody that you, like he did one on me, right? and I think he did one on Donald Trump, he does them on different people. Basically, he's just breaking down how that person maintains that alpha frame. Look at how he's, he says, he's teaching you more smiling, opening up and talking a lot. I'm not sure it's about talking a lot, but the smiling and the opening up and then talking when it's appropriate, building trust on both sides for a further deeper connection. I can't argue with that. The key here is to know when to turn it on or learn how to turn it off. Know who to be in what situation, when you need to be, what you got to be. That is the that is the key. So I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting, done.